Good evening everyone. <clears throat> Happy uh, New Year sa inyong lahat. Magandang gabi po. Magandang uh, panunod sa iba't ibang parte ng ating uh, mundo. Kamusta po kayo dyan? I am John Philip Kuasa. I'm, uh, your, uh, I'll be your speaker for tonight. I'll be your um, uh, host and sharer. And uh, we will be discussing about uh, skin and personal care for today, you know. But before that, uh, I hope everyone's doing uh, uh, fine or good. Bagong taon na po, no? We're approaching the first or the, 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 the midway of our first month of the year. And uh, sana marami na nangyari sa inyo, no? Sa ating lahat. Dahil alam naman natin, napakabilis ng panahon. Uh, parang nung isang araw lang, ano pa, no? 2020, ngayon, 2021 na. And uh, I hope all of you are doing well. And um, I believe all of us are already well adjusted with the current situation of the world, no? With this uh, pandemic. And uh, I hope towards the third and fourth quarter, a lot of us would have the vaccine already. So, yun ang naman ang panalangin natin, ano? But nevertheless, uh, may vaccine man o wala, the most important thing, of course, is to, you know, take care of our health, boost our immune system, and at the same time, follow the protocols that uh, would uh, help us to prevent the spread, spread transmission, acquisition of the virus, para hindi tayo magkasakit, and at the same time, hindi rin tayo makahawa. Siyempre, hindi lang naman sarili natin pinoprotektahan natin but even our um, loved ones di ba so ang bilis ng panahon sobra and uh, today ang pag-uusapan naman natin is about uh, skin and personal care which is also <clears throat> very important of course especially for those people who are doing business with Enworld our independent retailers uh, I hope you would master this or you would know this Um, these are uh, things that I'm going to be discussing today or tonight because this would really help you on growing your business and at the same time giving good customer service to your people. So, pag alam natin yung produkto, alam natin yung effects, alam natin yung benefits, and at the same time, alam din natin kung paano mag, mag recommend ng right products to our customers. Definitely, we, be, we would be able to take care of them properly. And at the same time, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng tuloy-tuloy na business. Uh, skin is a very important uh, discussion. We'll be discussing about the skin in general. Um, not just the products concerning or affecting the skin, but also the skin in general. Tapos yung mga produkto ng Enverl na, na related sa skin. Ama? And also some of our products involved in uh, personal care, including um, men's supplement, uh, oral care, and weight management. No? So, sana natin para I'm sure some of you are already very much excited to start this orientation. So first, we're going to define what a skin is or what the skin is. The skin is the body's outer covering which protects against heat and light, injury, and infection. So yung skin, yung ating balat, napakahalagang parte ng ating katawan. It also regulates body temperature and stores water, fat, and vitamin D. It is the largest organ of the body. Ito yung pinakamalaking organ ng ating katawan. As a matter of fact, on the average, the, the, the skin has an area of about two square meters. Kasi nga, binabalot niya yung ating buong katawan. Uh, apart from the skin, there are also what we call skin, skin appendages, like, you know, the, the, the nails, di ba? So these skin appendages are also part, but uh, in the hair, of course. So itong ating balat, napakahalaga. By definition, it is the covering and... Uh, It functions, it has uh, a lot of other functions or different functions. First function, number one, protection. The skin, the skin is, uh, or the skin acts 
as a barrier. Ito yung primary function. It, it's the primary function of the skin to be a barrier. The skin provides protection from mechanical impacts, pressure variations in temperature, microorganisms, radiation, and chemicals. So itong mga to, itong mga, like for example, the mechanical impacts, no? for example, ikaw, wala kang skin. No? Tapos bigla kang, habang naglalakad ka, tumama ang iyong knees sa um, kanto ng isang maliit na table or sa... Um, center sa office table maybe or basta tumama siya sa isang bagay na without the skin no yung impact mapupunta kagad dun sa underlying organs sa knee ano ba yung nasa knee natin so we have a large tendon there meron tayong patella yung bone natin and um, of course the muscles no but the knee itself wala naman siyang muscles sa ipabaw eh. ano lang yan eh uh, yung patella or yung bone connected by uh, tendons and uh, above that you already have your subcutaneous tissue and the skin diba? so imagine without the skin yung impact directa sa yung bone which would uh, you know which could uh, injure your bone but with the skin meron tayong konting shock absorber especially um, uh, what if abraded naman for example nadulas or nadapa diba Iba yung skin natin, yun yung nagkakaroon ng abrasion o yung uh, tinatawag natin uh, abrasion. Yan. Gasgas, yan. Yung gasgas, yung parang sugat na gasgas. Yan. So yung abrasion na pupunta sa skin, not on the underlying tissue or not on the patella. Okay? So napaka-importante feature or function of our skin. Also, it is a barrier for microorganisms. That is why... Uh, microorganisms cannot uh, penetrate or enter directly onto our body organs, our underlying body organs, because of our skin. Diba? Usually, pag may infect man, for example, sa arm area, without an open wound, usually skin infection lang yan. Pero yung penetrating infection to the bone, medyo mahirap because you have a barrier, which is your skin. Second function is for regulation. The skin regulates body temperature by a sweat and hair. No? Changes in peripheral circulation and fluid balance via sweat. It also acts as a reservoir for the synthesis of vitamin D. The skin is where vitamin D is activated. No? Na andyan yun sa skin natin, andyan yun ini-store, and it is activated by um, sunlight. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng vitamin D or it is the storage area, the skin is the storage area of this vitamin D. Importante rin ang regulatory function ng ating balat para sa fluid balance. Otherwise, we might, be, we might get dehydrated. You know, the problem with people who have third degree burns, yung may mga uh, sugat na nalapnos talaga yung balat. Lapnos ba yun? Yung natanggal na yung balat. So, wala ng ter thermoregulatory function yung skin dun sa area yun. So, prone yan sa dehydration because yung air, ay yung air, yung water, body fluids might come out of that area. So, with the skin, protected ang ating fluid balance. Importante bang fluid balance? Of course. Because uh, with dehydration, a lot of things could happen. One of the major organs that is affected by low... Um, fluids on the body or dehydration is the kidneys, di ba? So, hindi yan magpa-function properly. So, part ang skin sa regulation. Pero, syempre, marami pa yung kidneys, especially it regulates fluid balance. So, another function of the skin is sensation, pakiramdam. Katulad na sabi ko kanina, yung um, person who has third degree burns, no, prone na siya sa dehydration. Pero, that area without the skin, wala rin siyang masyadong pakiramdam. Kasi yung mga, yung sensation is on the skin. It contains an extensive network of nerve cells that detect and relate changes in the environment. The, there are separate receptors for heat, cold, touch, and pain. So yung mga receptors na yan, yan yung tumatanggap ng stimulus. So yung stimulus, ano may stimulus? Yun, yung stimulus. For example, this is your skin. Well, this is my skin, no? If I touch it there, so yung receptor for touch, touch sensation, no? Ma-activate siya ngayon. 
pag na-activate siya, lahat yun may chemical, ano yan, may chemical um, processes. So, hindi hindi lang yan mechanical, may chemical processes yan. Pag may touch, itong part ng skin kong to, may receptors dyan, maraming receptors. Yung receptors for touch, magsisend ganyan ng signal to the brain. Diret sa aking brain. Sabihin niya sa brain na activate siya. So, since it is a touch receptor, sasabihin ng mababasa ng brain yon as, ah, may touch. So, may tumama, may dumampi. So, ano gagawin niya? Yung brain mismo, magsis- ipaprocess niya kung ano yung dapat niyang gawin, and then magsisend siya ng signal. Well, uh, process niya yun, pupunta siya sa other parts of the brain, tapos sasabihin ng brain, ito na yung signal, ito na yung gagawin natin. Kung ang gagawin ko, pag may nagdampi sa akin ganun, isiiwas ko, yung brain ko magsisend ngayon ng signal towards my muscles, this group of muscles, para i-withdraw, para tanggalin yung, yung part na yon. So, ganun siya. Without the skin, kahit nakakuhakan mo yan, diinan mo, hindi mo siya dumararamdaman. No? So, ganun ka-importante yung sensation. So, trivia lang din. Um, receptors, uh, especially um, discriminating receptors sa face, madami. So, meron tayong tinatawag na two-point discrimination test. For example, when you um, touch a certain area, like this, touch your skin like this. Di ba you know that there are two points being touched? Alam mo na may dalawang bagay o dalawang daliri na nagtatouch sa kanya. So, try mo sa back. Pag tinouch mo using two fingers na ganyan ka-close, hindi niya ma- ma- mararamdaman yun uh, as dalawa because of the two-point discrimination. So, that is the function of the skin for sensation. So, that is our third function. But uh, the, 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 the reason why most people would want to take care of their skin and make their skin prettier, or more beautiful, is the fourth function, the physiological, social, and I mean psychological, social, and aesthetic function. A healthy skin facilitates social life and relationship of the individual to its environment and enhances its self-esteem. Ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng confidence din, di ba? Imagine a person, or I'm sure some of you, or you know someone who has certain skin conditions. Minsan, napapalmi yan sa Jessica Soho, di ba? Ang daming mga ganyan. Or kahit yung mga simpleng pimples lang, or mga pimples or acne, di ba? A person who has, has acne on their face, No, the self-esteem is a bit low compared to the, the people who has, you know, um, uh, good or glowing skin. So, yan, nagpa-facilitate ng yung self-esteem din. So, hindi ito sa guwapo maganda pangit, ha? It's not really related, but uh, yung, yung maganda guwapo kasi, ano yan, eh, uh, medyo subjective yan, di ba? What's um, pretty for me would be not so pretty to another person, so sub- subjective. But generally, a, 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 a beautiful skin, a, a um, clear, soft, and um, um, free from imperfections and skin conditions, that could be the ideal uh, skin. No? Alam naman natin, yung, kumbaga, um, realistically speaking, yung ating balat, malaki ang idinidikta niyan sa ating pagkatao at sa mga opportunities din na pwede nating makuha o makaharap. For example, a person applying for a job, two people, yung isa nag-aaral sa ganto, ganto ang GPA, um, skill set, ganto. Tapos another person, totally the same. Same skill sets, same... Uh, educational background, same age, same height, same uh, skin tone, um, same almost everything. Ang difference lang, yung isa merong uh, skin conditions or maybe may mga acne or maybe merong um, lot of uh, pimples in the face compared to the other one who has a clearer skin. Um, a person who has um, no imperfections, not necessarily maganda o pogi, ah, pero mas maayos yung balat. So who do you think would the employer pick between the two? 
no? With all other factors being the same, na yun lang pinagkai, but definitely the person given the same attitude, same ano, no? almost the same talaga. Pero yung skin nagiging factor talaga yan. And sometimes, sometimes, no? Sometimes it becomes a major factor. There are we know that sometimes yung looks pa lang sinusukat na because if you have uh, you know more beautiful skin it is already um uh anong tawag dyan? um an, indi- an indication for you to to get a certain job or maybe even sa ano eh, even sa pagtingin sa ng mga guwardiya sa bangko or sa ano diba? So I, I I know you understand what I'm saying, but that's how important uh, our skin is, and uh, which is why a lot of people, because of the social, uh, psychological, and the aesthetic function, uh, a lot of people would want to make to have a more beautiful skin, diba? Gusto natin mas clear, and a lot of times a lot of people also wants to have a lighter skin, mas maputi. So ganon siya kahalaga. So, ito yung reason why a lot of people use a lot of different products, no? Of course, it's not, you don't use the products for sensation, di ba? For, pa, to, 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 to take care of your receptors or amplify your sensation, hindi. Kaya ka nagtitake ng skin products because of the psychological, aesthetic, and social function. So, it, it, we have to understand that. And this is another uh, trivia, no? In 2018, The global cosmetic market grew 5.5% in comparison to the previous year. So skincare, hair care, makeup, perfumes, toiletries, and deodorants, including oral cosmetics, are the main product categories of the cosmetic market. So under the cosmetic market, no, magayon yung pinaka industriya, uh, cosmetics. Under it, a certain part of that, or part of that of cosmetic industry is in skincare. Okay. And skincare was the leading category, accounting for about 39%. So, she may, may pinakamalaking inambag. Di ba? Hair care products make up further 21%, almost half of what um, skincare uh, is uh, making or doing. And uh, while makeup accounted for 90% in 2018, Skincare has been forecast to remain the most profitable product category. So knowing this, you know, skincare business talaga napakaganda. Diba? As of 2018, Asia Pacific was the industry leader, accounting for approximately 40% of the global market. So apart from us knowing that the uh, skincare industry is really huge, a lot of people are, you know, are, are using, looking for these kinds of products. Isa pang advantage natin is that we are located on an area on a geographic location where most where most consumers are na andito sa Asia Pacific region talaga naman kundi kasi swerte hindi ba diba? that is why it is a very big advantage for all of us because um geographically alam natin na skin care is in short parang patok sa geographic location natin this is just a trivia para rin mas ma-appreciate natin, no? Uh, if you cut your skin, maybe 1 cm by 1 cm by 1 cm cube, no? 1 cubic centimeter. And uh, magnify that uh, skin. Lakihin mo. Mas makikita mo kung ano yung meron siya. This is what would it, uh, what would, this is what it looks like, no? So, on top, We have what we call the epidermis. Epi meaning on top, no? Epidermis. And below it, the dermal layer or the dermis. Beneath it, the hypodermis. And of course, the subcutaneous layer where fats could be found. No? So, kung may kita mo, yung skin, meron yung mga appendages. Ito, yung hair. Yung hair, yung black na patayo, vertical. No? That is our hair. So, kita mo yung base ng hair, that's the hair bone. So, nandiyan din ang ating <coughs> sebaceous glands. Uh, sebaceous glands is the one that uh, produces, secretes sebum, yung oil for our, um, for yung oil sa ating skin. No? 
Tapos may kita mo yung blue, blue elongated tube dyan, that is our vein. The red elongated tube, that's our, the artery. And the uh, yellow elongated tube, diagonal, or no, horizontal, yan yung ating nerves. Also, may kita mo rin, may mga sweat glands, and there's also a sweat pore. So, the pores sometimes, or the pores, it's either it has hair or it is an opening for the sweat. So, yan yung ating uh, anatomy. And ang importance nito, imagine those pores. If the pores get blocked or clogged, ano yung pwedeng mangyari? Diba? Um, what happens, especially when, when, when having pimples, um, there could be a blockage of the pores in the microorganisms or the what we call the normal flora. Normal flora is the bacteria or microorganisms present on the skin or on any part of the body, but they do not produce any disease. Not unless they have an overgrowth, dumami. So pag dumami, they could cause an inflammation or infection, but if not, normally na andyan lang yan. Because uh, totoo na sa ating mukha, maraming, sa ating balat, maraming normal flora dyan, maraming bacteria ang nakatira dyan, na hindi naman tayo inaano. Diba? And uh, even inside our body, we have a lot of normal flora, especially in the gut. Um, yung sa ating um, intestines, marami, marami dyan. Uh, and this, in this normal flora on the skin, no? Uh, for example, the normal flora, Staphylococcus aureus, um, stays there when it pour. Tapos nagkaroon ng clogging, ng barahan. Uh, hindi na drain because the sweat, it sometimes it drains no? the microorganisms inside that pore. So ano mangyari ngayon? Hindi na, uh, hindi na didrain. So nagkakaroon ng overgrowth. Nagkaroon ng overgrowth, tumami yung bacteria, nilabanan ng katawan, inflammation. So ganun siya. No? Kaya importante na alam natin yan. Okay? So, what defines a healthy and beautiful skin? A healthy skin is a moisturized, hydrated, um, uh, continuous, free from break, uh, breaks, and um, uh, free from breaks, and free from um, uh, skin conditions. Okay? Beautiful skin, again, uh, being beautiful is subjective, but a beautiful skin, no, a healthy and beautiful skin could be defined just like that. Properly hydrated and moisturized, free from breakage and imperfections or skin conditions. Okay? Now, we go to the skin types. Ang balat natin may iba't ibang type. And these types are... Number one, they're not permanent. They could be seasonal. They could change over time by age, by geographic location, and um, by certain um, periods of our um, growth. No? Adolescence, menopause, andropause, during the middle age, um, during the late ages of our lives. No? Because it is also affected by our hormones. And um, generally, we have four skin types, no? But we also have a, a fifth skin, skin type, mommy, we discussed natin. But the first one is what we call the normal skin. Normal skin is uh, hydrated. Uh, it has a, a, an ample amount or a um, some amount of sebum, menong oil. It's not dry and it's free from breakage. Uh, or breaks, not breakage, breaks, no? Yung normal skin, may oils, pero normal lang, yung hindi masyadong marami, hydrated, and hindi siya dry. So, ganun si normal skin. What, how, what does a normal skin look like physically? So, may glow, normal. Okay? So, maraming may normal type of skin. Although on the face, especially with women, mabilis yan mamask. Kasi pag naka-makeup na or meron ang ginamit sa face, minsan hindi mo na alam talaga yung, yung skin type niya. Unlike with the men na wala masyadong nilalagay sa face. Well, right now, a lot of men are using a lot of skincare products already, but um, there are a lot 
still that do not use anything on their face. So, hindi mo rin talaga alam ko ano yung skin type nila. Okay? Next is the dry skin. Represented by the second illustration. May kita mo yung dryness, yung purple area na andyan siya sa face. No? So, yung dry skin, it's not moisturized. It has minor breaks. And physically, it appears dull. The D-U-L-L. -L. Why? Because when light um, touches or goes to the skin, since wala siyang oils, hindi siya masyadong hydrated, no? uh, na absorb, eh, hindi nagbabounce yung light. Na-absorb lang. So kaya, medyo dull looking yung dry skin. On the other hand, the oily skin, yung fourth illustration naman, si oily skin naman is, ito naman yung skin type na has overproduction of oils and at the same time it physically it is a bit shiny or shiny makintab so bakit siya makintab kasi maraming ang oil so yung oil na yon pag tinamaan ng ilaw nagba-bounce yung light so makintab talaga siya minsan nakakasilaw na <laughs> so ganun yung ating oily skin type The fourth one is the combination type of skin. Ito naman yung nasa third illustration natin dito. Yung combination type of skin could be normal on some areas, normal type of skin, and dry or oily on certain areas. Or maybe dry on certain areas and oily on certain areas. So, ganun siya. So, yung combination type of skin, um, hindi lang siya fix na normal or dry or oily. Combination, basically. Okay? We have the fifth skin type, which is what we call the sensitive skin. So it could be normal, dry, com or a combination type of skin na uh, sensitive. S uh, when, when you say sensitive, is th this type of skin frequently um, develops rashes, redness, or itchiness, wheel formation, wheels are formed on the skin of the individual. Diba? So, yung sensitive skin we have to be really careful because um, sometimes they they are sensitive when you say sensitive they easily react to a certain ingredient of a certain product or even first to a certain material some people who have really sensitive skin no even their pillows they have to be very particular with the cloth yung pillowcase yung cloth yung cloth ano, yung tela ng kanilang pillowcase, in particular sila to. Otherwise, they would develop rashes or redness, no? But um, to some extent, no, some people are even, um, can't even put anything on their face except wash it with water. So merong ganun. So with the people who, who have sensitive skin, they could, they could have a normal skin, dry skin, or combination, or oily skin. But the characteristic is, It is sensitive to certain uh, substances or certain ingredients on products. No? Kaya medyo kailangan maging careful sa kanila. The good thing about it is that people who have sensitive skin, usually most of the time they know they have sensitive skin. So before they even try to use a product, they would ask you, uh, is it okay for a person with sensitive skin? Kasi sensitive yung skin ko eh. Yan ito madalas ako nangangate sa mga ganyan-ganyan. So alam mo na that person has sensitive skin. So mas alam mo rin kung ano yung i-recommend mong product. Okay? We have to know the skin types so that we we would uh, we we could have a better idea which product to recommend to to these people or to our customers. Okay? Now, what are the common skin concerns naman? Ano naman yung madalas na concerns ng mga customers o ng mga tao natin? Ano yung concerns natin sa ating skin? Number one, the most most common is the pimple. So yung pimple, tigawat, di ba? Uh, tigawat, acne, yan yung common. There is also um, what we call comedones, yung mga blackheads, whiteheads, yan yung mga common na problema natin, di ba? Pimples could arise from infection or um, inflammation. Uh, if there is um, bacterial overgrowth, there could be pus, di ba? So, itong pimples na to, maraming talagang tao may problema niyan. That's the most common skin concern talaga. 
and I believe most of us or all of us, at one point in our lives, we were able to get at least one pinpoint na experience in that. And sometimes these, pe- these pinpoints are very annoying, especially when they are on very, uh, what do you call that, um, when speakiest parts of your face. Like, for example, sa tip of your nose, di ba? Nakakaasa rin, mayroon ka pinpo sa tip of your nose. Or at the middle of your forehead, no? Di ba nakakaasa rin? Imagine yourself may pinpo ka doon. But that is um, one of the common, most common um, skin conditions that people would want, wouldn't want to experience. Another is dryness, no? Common din yan. Yung, ating, yung sa ating uh, mga customers, they would... Uh, they would uh, ask, they would um, complain about their dry skin kasi yung skin ko dry. I mean, dry, di ba, madalas nga. Katulad na sabi ko, they have flaking. Sometimes they have breaks on their skin. So, ito, prone din to sa pimples. So, yan yung mga concerns nila. Of course, we have blemishes, discolorations, freckles, yung parang mga pimple marks dyan, mga kung ano-ano sa face natin. Di ba? So, yun yung mga common concerns. Siyempre, other concerns, marami pa sa totoo lang. Other diseases, eczema, di ba? Um, to the extreme uh, skin uh, lesions, like skin cancers, di ba? So, mga ganun. Pero ito yung mga common. Uh, buko dito, yun nga, yung common skin goals naman is yung pagpapaputi. Okay. So, bakit ko ito sinasabi? Kasi ito yung ina-address din ng N-World Skincare Products. Yung mga common concerns and at the same time, yung mga common skin goals, which is skin lightening. Okay? So, since these are common, you know that you have a lot of people who would really be interested on the products that you offer. Diba? Okay. How do we take care of our skin? So, taking care of the, squ- the skin requires four steps. We have step one, two, three, and four. Step one, to properly take care of your skin, is you have to cleanse it, no? That is step one. Kailangan linisin. As you can see here, we have five products for that particular step, no? We have four soaps, four different soaps, and the O2 bubble cleanser. After step one, you go to step two, of course. Step two is the toning or refining the pores, making the pores smaller. Step three is moisturizing the skin, Moisturizing is very important, di ba? Again, a healthy and um, beautiful skin is properly moisturized and hydrated, no? So step three, moisturize. As you can see, we have a lot of products. We have um, uh, our intense lipstick from the left, no? Our lipstick, our auto glowing serum mask at the back of the lipstick. We have the eye gel, the square container in front of the round one, no? Yung round naman, yung ating CC cushion. And then going to the right, we have the face cream. We have the underarm cream next. We have the body cream. And lastly, we have the cloud cream. These products are the ones that we use to moisturize the skin. Not all of them. Uh, you, you don't have to use all of them to moisturize your skin. What I'm saying is each product has its moisturizing capability. Okay? So, baka kasi na na yung iba dyan ako. Para pala makapag-moisturize, kailangan lahat ko yan gagamitin, no? We'll choose uh, one or a couple of products there. Or maybe three include the lipstick, no? Para sa ating moisturizing regimen or sa step three. And of course, we have step four. We have five products for step four. Four of them are also moisturizers or part of step three. And uh, one product is, uh, of course, for purely for protection of our skin. So, isa-isahin natin yan para mas maintindihan nyo po, no? Let's go to step one. Step one is cleansing. We have four kinds of soaps, as I've said. First, enlighten koji papaya with glutathione, glutathione, no? Ingredients are, the main ingredients are, of course, kojic acid. Nasa pangalan niya, right? Kojic acid, papaya, and glutathione. What are these, uh, what, what, what does these um, ingredients do to your skin? So, ang pinaka-common dyan, protects your skin. And number two, it makes or uh, that makes, helps, 
helps you to have a fairer or lighter skin. So, yan yung ating three ingredients na nakakatulong mga pagpaputi. They are very good uh, lightening ingredients, no? Papaya, glutathione, and kojic acid. Plus, kojic acid also helps as an anti-inflammatory ingredient. Nakakatulong yan para makapagpatuyo ng ating mga pimples. Kaya yung kojic acid, isa pang function niya na kapag neutralize niya ng oils sa skin. That's why a lot of people, especially those people who have oily skin, they they always want to have um, soaps that have kojic acid kasi nakokontrol yung overproduction ng oils or neutralize yung oils sa skin. So hindi masyadong makinang o shiny. Minsan kasi yung oily skin, yan yung nakakaasan eh. Parang ang kintab-kintab mo na parang magdidrip yung oil sa face. Diba? Ayan naman natin na eh. That is why a lot of people want to control the oils. So kojic acid works best for that purpose. It also has an antimicrobial property and again, anti-inflammatory. That's why sa mga pimples, it makes the pimples, you know, dry up faster. And, it, and uh, this enlightened kojic papaya glutathione, so it even helps in lightening or removing the pimple marks. So yan yung ating enlightened kojic papaya. What skin type? Any skin type except for the dry skin or dry skin type. Why? Because of the kojic acid nga na um, nag-neutralize ng oil na kadry na ng skin. So any other skin type, is it's okay. No, Even people who have sensitive skin, if they are not sensitive to kojic acid or with the papaya or with glutathione, they could still use this product. But for those people who have sensitive skin, kumbaga initial recommendation, uh, as retailers, we have we encounter a customer who would want a soap, but that person has a, a, a sensitive skin. Ano yung initial na pwede mo kagad alo? That would be the second soap, the Enlightened Premium Soap. No? Enlightened Premium Soap contains argan oil, aloe vera, and collagen. These are very hypoallergenic ingredients, meaning um, uh, a lot of people generally, it is very well accepted, only a few. Very few people get sensitive to these ingredients. Kaya nga, kung ang customer ko merong sensitive skin or hypersensitive skin, ito yung mas pwede kong ma-recommend uh, outright without further investigation. No? So yung Latin Premium Soap naman, again, the ingredients are more of um, to moisturize the skin, to make it supple and softer. So yan nagagawa. This ingredients also has a lot of antioxidants. Same with anti with kojic papaya, no? Yung papaya, marami antioxidants yan. Also with the, the premium soap. So the blue one, again, it's best for those people who have dry skin para ma-moisturize siya. But it's not limited to those people who, are, who have dry skin. It could be used by normal skin type, oily skin type, combination, or even... Um, have uh, aller allergic or sensitive skin. Okay? So, any skin type, basically. So, anong pinaka-use niya? Para mas maganda yung kutis, mas malambot, mas soft, mas supple, and at the same time, mas moisturized. Yung tamang moisture. Okay? So, yan yung ating premium soap. Could we use the two soaps in combination? Of course. Uh, personally, I use them in combination. I use the Kojic... Um, Papaya glutathione soap first, and then after rinsing it, I use the mandarin premium soap. Pwede yun. So, bakit? Kasi uh, I'd li I like the effect of the koji papaya soap for the blemishes and to control the oil. Tapos yung premium soap naman to moisturize the skin. Okay? The third soap is our Enlightened Purifying Soap, which contains tea tree oil and camu camu extract, which is which contains a lot of very, you know, they have a lot of antioxidants. Antioxidants help the skin make to be healthier in the fight of uh, free radicals. And uh, this um, Enlightened Purifying Soap also has antimicrobial properties, or it helps fight off the other causing germs, no? Kaya kagandahan dito, pwede siya sa mga taong, ay, alam mo yun, yung mahilig magpawis, sometimes develop, you know, the odor, and uh, at the same time, it's a very good cleansing product. 
again, these four soaps, pandini sila, with added benefits, no? Uh, generally, soaps are for to clean the skin, right? To remove the oils and the dirt. But this one, these are special soaps because they have special functions or they perform um, special functions, no? Nakakatulong to sa iba't ibang bagay. Depende sa ingredient and sa goal, of course. So yung purifying soap, pwede siya sa mga tao may normal, dry, oily combination or even uh, sensitive skin. Although, although since this this has a bit of a scent, no, there are people who have, you know, people who have sensitive skin, medyo, um, uh, ang tawag dito, hindi ko ito masyadong i-recommend. Or ito yung least na i-recommend ko on our soaps. No? So again, enlightened purifying soap, they also help since they have antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory property sa mga pimples, okay din siya. Especially me, sometimes I use it when I develop pimples at the back. You know, uh, people who have skin infections, you know, uh, infected wounds, eczema, this, this, this soap could uh, really help them. Yung purifying soap. So bakit ko ito sinasabi? Again, some customers, they have different skin goals, different skin conditions. If you know that that for example, a customer asks you, ano ba yung pwede dyan? Dami kasing katikati, ang dami kong katikati, ang daming katikati ng asawa ko or yung, yung teenager kong anak, may mga ano, parang sugat na na-infect na, ganyan. So, of course, it's better to consult the doctor first or, or the dermatologist, but nevertheless, they could also try using the soaps. No? So, itong purifying soap ang i-recommend ko for that purpose. Okay. Another soap is our Enlightened Sakura Berberi Soap. The fourth soap, yung nasa bottom. No? This one contains berberi, sakura extract, and glutathione, which are very good for uh, helping the skin to lighten. So it's more of a lightening uh, soap. No? So mas nakakatulong siya dun sa mga taong. Ang goal is magpaputi. Okay? So, depende, again, sa skin goal na isang tao. Pero kung normal lang, I mean, wala naman siyang um, um, uh, skin conditions. Wala naman siyang skin goal. Gusto lang niya, medyo moisturize yung skin niya at malinis. So, I would recommend uh, the premium soap for that person. Pero gusto niya medyo mas, gusto ko medyo mas pumusyaw. So, I could either give uh, enlightened koji papaya with glutathione soap or the sakura beverage soap. Problema niya, pimples, tagawat, ganyan. I would recommend the Koji Papaya Glutathione Soap. Or kung problema, ko na, problema naman niya is some skin skin infections, I would recommend the Enlightened Purifying Soap. Okay? So those are the four soaps. So I hope you won't be, you won't get confused when recommending products to your customers. Baka mamaya ang mabigay mo para sa, ano, di ba? Di ba? So it's very important because most distributors or ret independent retailers, especially the new ones, they have trouble on which soap to recommend to a customer. Madalas, ang nirecommend natin, ano, yung kung ano, meron kang hawak. But uh, for the benefit of our customers, we should give them the right, proper, correct soap for their, for their particular condition or goal. Okay? So, tandaan, yung apat na yan. Also, for step one, or for cleansing the skin, we have the O2 Bubble Cleanser, which has the following ingredients. Na parang ito. It also helps lighten the skin. It contains a lot of uh, healthy nutrients and antioxidants. And at the same time, this one, no, it revitalizes the skin and hydrates it right away. Kagandahan dito, this O2 Bubble Cleanser, no, uh, you apply it on your face dry. Hindi mo kailangan basahin ang mukha mo bago mo ito gamitin. So, this in a gel form, no? Just put one pump or two pumps of the gel on your fingers and then spread it on your face upwards. Pag na-spread mo na yung gel, it would form bubbles. And leave the bubbles there or leave it for like a minute and then slowly remove the bubbles and at the same time gently massaging your skin. So, pagtanggal ng bubbles, gentle massage, rinse the face, and then makikita mo talaga 
grabe, parang bumata na kagad. It's true. I'm not exaggerating things, but you know, based on experience, even customers, no, they namamangha talaga sila. Kasi especially those customers who have a lot of lines, like the lap lines, the crow's feet, no wrinkles in the forehead, even on the on the eye area. No? Pagkatapos ng auto bubble cleanser, parang bumata na kagad. Na less, naging shallow yung lines. Okay? Napakaganda nito. Apart from it, from cleaning the, the skin. No? And uh, this one has deep cleansing action. It has um, um, the oxygen therapy na tinatawa. So, very good cleansing product, the auto bubble cleanser. Question before I proceed. Uh, common question is, pwede ko bang gamitin ang auto bubble cleanser together with the soap? Yes, pwede po. But, uh, you know, by the auto bubble itself, it's good. But if you have other skin goals, other skin uh, conditions, no, you could use any or any of our soaps together with the uh, auto bubble cleanser. For example, may mga rashes ka dito na mga kate infected, no? You could use the purifying soap in that area. No? Tapos mag auto bubble ka dyan. Pwede yan. Or, for example, ang problem mo talaga is um, oily skin. So, para makontrol, no? Pwede kang mag-codge papaya rin. No? So, that is our um, step one or cleansing. Step two, on the other hand, is our toning or refining the pores. Why is refining the pores or making the pores smaller important? Again, katulad ng sabi ko kanina, sa anatomy of the skin, there are pores or openings. Sometimes when they get blocked, no, you could uh, have uh, inflammation on that area. That is why uh, if you have a refined pore or smaller pores, of course, less chances of dirt getting in the pores. And at the same time, a defined pore looks smoother, mas makinis tignan. Diba? Yun yung kagandahan if you have smaller pores. Okay? So for that particular purpose, we have our enlightened facial cleanser. So this facial cleanser is not just for toning. It is a cleanser. It helps clean the skin. Diba? Kaya nga, facial cleanser ang tawag sa kami. So this one naman is a case-based or water-based Kagandahan naman dito sa ating um, enlightened facial cleanser. These are the ingredients, no? It not just helps lighten the skin, it not just helps refine the pores, but it, it uh, frees your skin from dirt, even from the pores or yung the deep-seated dirt. It also prevents some um, skin um, conditions like the comedones, blackheads, whiteheads. Uh, again, tighter pores, more refined pores, smaller pores, less chances of dirt getting in. Okay? So that is our enlightened facial cancer. How to use it? This one is a liquid product. One container contains 100 ml. So ito nilalagay siya sa cotton pads. So the cotton pads, you just apply it on the face. Gently. Feather light touches. And better to use pads than the cotton balls. Why? Because the cotton balls absorbs a lot of the product. The cotton pads, wala wala masyado inabsorb the product yan. Kaya ito sobrang tipid. Ang tagal niyong mauubos. So you don't have to rub it on your skin because when you apply it, when the product touches the skin, it already is doing its uh, purpose or function. No? Basta madampi o mapunta sa skin, good. Okay na yun. Hindi mo kailangang i-rub. You don't need to erase your face. Okay? So that is for our step two. Now we go to step three. After you cleanse your skin, you tone it, and then you moisturize it. Now sometimes at night, no, um, up to step three is okay. But in the morning when we are exposed to the sun, no, it's better if we continue or we go up to step four. But sa gabi, matutulog ka, take care of your skin, step one, two, three is good. Okay? So what are the products for moisturizing the skin or for step three? One, the... The first one is the eye gel. No? Yung eye gel, ito po, bakit itong inuuna? Before, ka, for example, you would be using a lot of other products. No? Ito muna yung una mong ilalagay. Yung eye gel is a product which has the following uh, ingredients. No? Yeah. Uh, especially the glacier water. It's a very good ingredient. No? Itong ating enlightened eye gel, nilalagay ito sa ating eye area. Dito. No? Sa eye area. So, anong ginagawa niya? It helps, you know, 
uh, remove or reduce the puffiness in eye bags. It helps reduce the dark circles. The star lily, you know, it's a very good um, ingredient para makatanggal ng mga darkness or dark circles. Di ba, meron tayong misa na ikita ng mga tao or mga customers o mga kaibigan natin, parang panda, no? Yung, ano, eye area, medyo dark. So, ito po, dito sa kanila, if that is their concern. And also, it helps, um, you know, for the lines. The lines here on the lateral area, yung ating tinatawag na crow's feet, no? Using this eye gel, it helps to, of course, reduce the signs of aging in those areas. So, yan yung ating uh, enlightened eye gel. How to apply it? You just, you know, when you open the container, remove the cover. The cover pa po yun. Tapos, use your ring finger. Tap tap on the product, no? Tapos, magkakaroon ka ng product sa ring finger mo. And then, apply it. Just, uh, you know, put one, two, three. Yung product, one, two, three lang. Good. Okay na yun. Tapos, spread it na. Outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tapos, dun naman sa eyelid, sa talukap, lagay ka rin. Spread. Tapos, sa lateral area. Spread. So, that is how you use your eye gel. Use it once uh, every night. Some people use the eye gel on their whole face. Basically, the eye gel helps moisturize the skin and at the same time, it helps with the puffiness, dark circles, and the lines. Okay? So, bakit ginagamit sa buong face? Kasi mas gusto nila yung effect. Mas moisturize and at the same time, may banat feel down. That's why some people use it on their whole face. No problem with that, of course. Uh, the next product is the cloud cream. Some people, they use the eye gel and cloud cream together. Pwede po. Para yung sa eye area, eye gel. The other parts, cloud cream. Pwede po yan. And uh, this cloud cream, no, is one of our best-selling products. Napakaganda po nito. My wife has been using it for like five years already. And uh, pag isa na lang yung cloud cream namin, medyo nagpapanik na siya kasi kailangan maraming stock. Okay? So, yung at maraming stock sa bahay or sa sa sa, sa kanya na gagamitin. No? Yung cloud cream natin, we have the following ingredients. We have white rice extract and white milk protein. You know, those, the ancient people, no? Uh, those people who have been, you know, the royalties, uh, the, the queens, the princesses, no, before, Ano ba yung ginagamit nila para sa kanilang skin? Di ba? Naliligo sila sa gatas. Imagine that. that. Some of them even, um, uh, what do you call this? Bake in um, liquid with gold. No? Those, those uh, royalties during the ancient times. No? But with the milk, they know that milk has a lot of... Um, a lot to offer on your skin, basically. So, yan ang ingredients din nitong Enlightened Cloud Cream. It helps moisturize the skin. And at the same time, this product also helps remove, helps to remove the blemishes, the pimple marks, you know, yung mga discolorations. Ito nakakatulong yung magtanggal mo. And at the same time, this cloud cream, you apply it on your skin, and then uh, it has this uh, instant glow. So, the advantage that it gives on your skin is, of course, it, um, it helps with the overall health of your skin, but at the same time, uh, for the aesthetic purpose, di ba? Tanda natin, fourth um, uh, function of our skin is for psychological, aesthetic, and social function. Ito napakaganda for aesthetic purposes. No? Yung aesthetic function ng skin with the cloud cream talagang may glow. So after you apply it, you could really appreciate the glow on your face. This is a very good product. You apply it from the neck up. You know? you don't, uh, I don't recommend using it on your body. So just use it from the neck up. Okay? Next, we have the body cream. This one, man, is used from the neck down. It helps moisturize the skin. It helps lighten the skin. It helps make the skin softer and more supple. And at the same time, this body cream has the following ingredients. They contain a lot of nutrients and antioxidants that helps for the skin's health. And uh, this body cream, um, 
some people use this on those areas that are just uh, that are exposed on or exposed or nakikita ng tao. But you could use it even on those areas that are not exposed. For example, your knees. If you're not, if you're using jeans, you're not really using, you know, short clothes. So, kahit hindi nakikita ng tao ang yung legs or knees, better use this one. Because it, again, it makes your skin healthier, right? Uh, itong ating body cream also, um, some people, you know, we have testimonies that it, 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 uh, it really helps on the dark areas. Like what? Like the uh, siko, di ba, sa elbows, sa knees, malleolar areas, in the, of course, sa bikini area, pwede to ito. So maganda siya. So that is our enlightened body cream. Again, it's it's a moisturizer that helps also in skin lightening and in um, protecting your skin. The CC cushion, on the other hand, this one is a compact. No, you may kita niyo compact siya. Uh, it has the cushion, the brown one, para yung uh, sponge, para yung foam, no? na anjan yung product. And uh, meron yung pop for applicator. Yung nasa likod sa photo, yung small round uh, thing with enlightened, no? that is the puff or the one that you use to apply the product on your skin. The enlightened CC cushion actually helps your skin to, well, it moisturizes the skin and uh, it gives you, it contains the following ingredients. It gives you um, a lot of antioxidants on your skin and at the same time protects it. This enlightened CC cushion uh, covers up imperfections. So, kumbaga para tong foundation and primer. But kagandahan dito, it is very lightweight. So, parang wala nakalagay. So, you could still um, put makeup on top of it. Um, usual regimen of those people who takes care of their skin, you know, uh, using our products, use the auto bubble cleanser and a soap maybe, plus use the facial cleanser for the toner, and then use the eye gel and the moisturizer, the cloud cream for the face, plus the enlightened CC cushion. You know, pinaka uh, ibabaw. And then, um, um, body cream, of course, sa katawan. This is a cushion, no? It is, uh, you have to wash it off. So you usually use it before you go out, and then before going to sleep, you wash it off. Unlike the cloud cream that you don't need to wash off, no? So that is our CC cushion, a very good moisturizer, and at the same time protects the skin. Mamaya ipapakita ko pa yan, yung CC cushion, body cream, cloud cream, and face cream, mamaya ipapakita ko rin yan. Four hours step four, okay? So that is our CC cushion. Next, we have the O2 Glowing Serum Mask. This O2 Glowing Serum Mask contains the following ingredients. Ayan, yung nakalagay po dyan, no? Kagandahan dito sa serum mask natin, it helps moisturize the skin and at the same time, the effect is a bit longer. Ang taga, sometimes two, three days, you could still see the effect, moisturizing effect and the banat effect of this product. So when you see th th this mask, it is on a foil pack or sachet, you know? malaki, malaki yan. When you open it, you get the mask, you get the mask, the tensile gauze mask where the product is, no? where the product is, and then yung liquid product kasi nasa mask eh. Tapos yung mask yun yung lalagyan sa face. It is shaped like a face with openings on the eyes, nose, and the mouth. Just put it there, leave it there for 20 minutes, and then after 20 minutes, remove it. Uh, massage ng konti. You don't have to rinse it, and you're all good. Wala. Diba? You sit like two, three times a week because the effect is... Um, Sometimes even up to a week, you could still see the effect of the mask. But uh, better if you use this regularly, two to three times a week. Okay? So that is our O2 Glowing Serum Mask. Very good moisturizer. Another product is our Enlightened Underarm Cream. These are the ingredients, no? It has a lot of antioxidants. As you can see, our skincare products have focuses, uh, the ingredients focuses more on plants. That's why we call them plant-based. Uh, based on plants, flowers, no, the the leaves, no. Ito yung kagandahan sa mga products nito. They they are not artificially derived or um, artificially derived chemicals. Hindi siya ganon. They are derived from 
the uh, natural products or plant products or plant ingredients. No? So again, this underarm cream is a very good and, uh, moisturizer for the underarms. Kilikili. Maganda sa kilikili. So, bukod sa moisturizing effect niya sa ating underarms, it also helps to lighten the underarms. That's why a lot of, you know, a lot of women also has this, that problem, no? Um, dito kasi parang may certain standard, no? Sa Pilipinas, no? Parang, parang kailangan lighter siya, di ba? Parang ganun. Pero, I was able to go to Nigeria, no? Sa Nigeria, medyo wala silang pakailan doon. No? In Africa, in Nigeria, they don't really care much about it. No? They don't even care much about the scent or the amoy or the odor, but, um, you know, I like here, we're very much conscious about the dark underarms and that this product could really help us. I, I'm not saying na mali yun, no? I'm not saying na mali yun. What I'm saying is, here in the Philippines, the market is really huge when it comes to these underarm lightening products. No? Kasi nga, ganun yung nakaugalian naka natin. Yun yung kultura natin. Kaya maganda, maganda to. So this underarm cream, again, not only moisturizes the skin, it helps lighten the skin on the underarms. And in, it also helps with the um, chicken skin or those elevated pores. No? So nare-refine yung pores, tapos medyo nalilesen niya. And at the same time, natutulungan niya mag-lighten. Okay? So that is our enlightened underarm cream. Lastly, our face cream, no? Uh, another moisturizing product for the skin, especially for the face, no? Applied from the neck up, no? These are the ingredients. It has a very good lightening ingredients, especially like Sakura and the RBT, no? Yung Sakura extract, maganda yun talaga pang palighten. Where have you, which other product that uh, meron tayong Sakura extract? Diba? Sa soap natin sa ating sakura berberry soap no so sa face cream meron din yan yung rbt maganda rin yan for lightening so this face cream is a moisturizer it helps moisturize the skin it helps cover up skin imperfections and uh, it also has some protection anong difference ito kay cloud cream cloud cream is another moisturizer that we have no difference niya dun sa finish if the cloud cream is a, is, is a bit shiny no this one naman is a bit matte or powdery finish so, hindi siya makintab. And at the same time, the protection, some protection factor is different compared to the cloud cream. Okay? So, that is our face cream. And uh, for the lips na naman, no? for the lips, we have our intense lipstick. A lot of, well, almost every woman, no? not almost every woman, in the modern world, no? uh, they used or they are using lipstick uh, for aesthetic purposes, number one. And number two, lipsticks kasi helps moisturize the lip area. Kaganaan dito, with our lipstick, it doesn't contain lead and it has shea butter and vitamin E. helps to moisturize the skin. And for those people who have cracks on the lips, you know, dryness of the lips, ito maganda to para sa kanila. It has the, we have three shades for this one. We have the nude, red, and the pink. So another moisturizer, which is uh, specifically for the lips. But you could also use this lipstick as blush, no? Blush. So some mga girls, alam nila yun. Okay? And for step four, taking care of your skin, no? So step four natin, we have CC Cushion also. CC Cushion, we've discussed uh, the cushion, the face cream, the body cream, and the cloud cream. So moisturizing or so step three. Pero may protective function din siya. No? Yung ating um, cloud cream, meron siyang SPF 20. And yung body cream naman, meron din siyang SPF 20. So they have UVA and UVB protection and sun protection factor 20, the both of them. So when you apply cloud cream, you are somewhat protected already. Okay? But if you go outside, no, if you are going outside, better to use sunscreen or better to use this one, the CC Cushion. It has SPF 50. 
SPF 50, CC passion. SPF 20, cloud cream and body cream. The face cream, on the other hand, SPF 30, a little bit higher than the cloud cream. So, diniscuss na natin sa, sila kanina, di ba? But yan yung mga protection nila, yung sun protection factor of those four products. So, you know that you are already protected to a certain extent. Okay? Also, we have the brightening deodorant. This contains arbutin, vitamin D, and glutathione. So, the brightening deodorant not only helps prevent or as a deodorant, no, prevent uh, perspiration and uh, other causing germs. No, It also helps brighten the underarm area. It helps brighten, nakakapag-lighten and pagpaputi ng underarm area. So, anong difference ito kay underarm cream? See, underarm cream, it doesn't offer any protection. Just moisturizing the underarms and at the same time helps lighten it and remove the you know chicken skin or the elevated pores. But this one, yung enlightened brightening deodorant natin, it helps lighten and at the same time it has a deodorant property. Okay? So yan yung pinagkaiba nila. This one is a liquid product no nasa ano yan, roll on. So may ball dyan, mirror roll. Okay? Pag ginamit. You just glide it on your underarms, like two to three strokes, and then you're good. Unlike the underarm cream, it's a cream. You apply it using your fingers on the area. Okay? So that is our brightening deodorant, and that completes our uh, uh, skincare regimen. These, uh, what I've discussed, are topical products, products that you put on your skin directly. So what does it mean, no? For example, the brightening deodorant, when you apply it on your underarms, does it affect the skin of the neck or the face? Of course not. Topical products, uh, they affect the skin uh, where it is applied or where they are applied. So, yun naman yung ano ng topical products. They act on that uh, part of the skin, but they are limited to that area. Okay, if you want to have the effect of the body cream on your whole body, you apply the body cream on your whole body. Okay? Um, I, I didn't discuss on the proper use or the, the other, you know, tips about um, application. Why? Because we have product demonstrations every Saturday. You could attend to that para mas malaman niyo po yung tamang paggamit niya. But what I'm discussing is the uses para saan and the benefits. And means an inapia one by application. Okay? Apart from the topical products that we have, we also have supplements or something that we intake that could also help on our skin health. Okay? These supplements uh, or oral products, no, they act on the whole body, not just on a specific area. Again, topical products, when you apply it on the forehead, you don't apply it on the cheek. It affects the forehead, not the cheeks. With the supplements or oral products, no, it affects all or the whole organism sa ating buong katawan. Okay? Anong mga supplement na pwede para sa mga taong may maraming skin goal, may mga skin goals, no? Number one, we have the Nutrigol New Gen. It contains collagen and vitamin C. It is a... Um, um, in effervescent form, tablet, lalagay sa water, and then it would dissolve, and then you drink it. That is our Nutrigol new gen. Collagen is very important. On our health discussion, we know that collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. It is found on almost all organs of the body, and they are very much found on the skin. It makes the skin more supple, right? So yung collagen, yan yung gumaga ngayon, usong-uso ang collagen dahil sabi niya, pampabata para less yung saging and yung mga lines, di ba? Not just on the face. Again, these are oral products, so it affects on the whole body. Yun ang kagandahan sa kanya. So vitamin C comes with the collagen because vitamin C is important for collagen utilization and at the same time, vitamin C also is a product for the skin. It helps make your skin uh, healthier. It has a lot of antioxidants. Okay? Enhanced CoQX, another supplement that we have. We have Enhanced CoQX. This one contains coenzyme Q10, which is a coenzyme, basically. And uh, it is found all over the body. 
especially concentrated on the heart, liver, brain, lungs, those organs that function or that that perform a lot of activities all the time, no? And the uh, coenzyme Q10 is also very good for the skin. So those people who are applying topical products, you know, um, if your skin cells are really healthy, they could respond better with your topical products. Vitamin A, C, and E, these are vitamins that are also very essential. They are antioxidants. They have a lot of other benefits, not just on our skin, but on the whole body. But uh, basically, these ACE vitamins, they have a lot of very nice and very good effects on our skin. We also have biotin, selenium, and zinc. So biotin is a vitamin, zinc, and selenium. These are minerals that are also essential for our skin. We call the enhanced CoQX as our beauty pill. Beauty pill, P-I-L-L. -L. So, hindi lang siya para sa ating health because it contains a lot of antioxidants. The ingredients are basically antioxidants, right? But these ingredients are also very good for the skin. Okay? Also, we have enhanced L-glutathione with collagen and vitamin E. This one is, uh, you know, glutathione is very famous for like more than a decade already. Yung glutathione, alam ng tao, pampa lighten ng skin. Yan ang common ano dyan, pag sinabing glutathione. But the truth is, glutathione is an antioxidant. It is for our uh, health. It helps um, in detoxifying, you know, unnecessary substances on our body. And at the same time, with, um, um, what they call this, with, with oversupply of glutathione, it prevents production of melanin, which is <clears throat> the compound responsible or the substance responsible for making our skin dark. That is why the more glutathione that you have on your skin, the less melanin production, the fairer or lighter you become. Okay? So, I'm getting no? That is our enhanced glutathione. Collagen, we discussed it kanina, and we uh, discussed it sa health, di ba? For what? And vitamin E, another vitamin. Well, we have that also on our beauty pill, the ACE vitamins, remember. So ACE vitamins, very good. So this one has vitamin E. Atong glutathione natin. Also, we have a new supplement. We call it our Coco Rich. Yung Coco Rich natin, it also, as you can see the benefits, no? it boosts the immune system, promotes weight loss, increases energy level, supports metabolism, and supports skin health. Again, these are supplements that are also very good for the skin. No? VCO or virgin coconut oil has a lot of benefits. Hindi lang, VCO even has you know, uh, antibacterial properties. Some use it topically, but orally, no? they have a lot of health benefits also affecting our skin. Okay, so those are the products of Enworld, supplement products of Enworld that has an effect or 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 gives us benefits when it comes to our skin health, okay? Uh, when it comes to oral care naman, this one, personal care na siya, no? Yung oral care, we're done with the skin, no? Uh, oral care, we have the enlightened toothpaste. So this enlightened toothpaste contains the following ingredients. It has hydroxyapatite, pro propolis extract, xylitol, menthol, no? Itong ating enlightened toothpaste, it is not just to clean the teeth, or the oral cavity, you know. This one also helps lighten the teeth and hot, and it also helps remineralize the teeth, you no, know? remineralize. That is why this uh, enlightened toothpaste, no, hindi lang siya talagang, it's not your ordinary toothpaste. Nakakalighten, nakakatanggal ng bad breath or nakaka-fight off ng um, odor causing germs, it, it makes your teeth, gums, and yung, yung ating oral cavity healthy. Okay? So, ito naman, well, sa, sa ano naman tinuturo yan, no? sa product demonstration, this toothpaste, it's better used ng ano, hindi diluted. Huwag kang magmumo, huwag kang mag, ano, babasain yung toothbrush mo or yung toothpaste mo. Kasi some people, sanay sila sa ganun, di ba? Paglagay ng toothpaste, inaano pa ng tubig, 
para daw mas mabula no toothpaste um they 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 are better used uh undiluted mas maganda yan pagka uh, it comes into direct contact on your teeth like for example no remi- remineralization yung hydroxyapatite crystals nag-aattach yan directly sa teeth sa ating ipin pag nag-attach yan doon mag-a-attract naman yan ngayon ng calcium so pag mag-a-attract ng calcium didikit yan doon mas lalong mare-remineralize remineralize uh, titibay yung ating ipin Okay, so that is our enlightened toothpaste. Now we go to men's supplement. Men's supplement is also very important. No? When it comes to personal care and personal health, especially with the men, no? I would suggest take men's supplement. Not just your vitamins, not just your beauty pill, not just um, your antioxidants. Men's supplement also is very important. You know, men, the man has a hormone. We call it the testosterone responsible for a lot of functions and features of men no yung testosterone yan yung responsible kung bakit ang mga lalaki mas mas uh, muscular compared to women no and uh, you know yung hair coarse hair present on the as, as the beard the mustache no so yun din ang responsible diyan yung growth yung voice no ang dami ang daming ang daming um effect of testosterone and as we age as men age no sometimes production of testosterone goes low and when you have low testosterone levels your energy mo baba endurance stamina mo ang baba and at the same time you must yung, yung muscular features mo medyo magiging weaker so with take taking men's supplement is taking care of your manhood no but at the same time this product of enworld yung ating enhanced man up also helps with the reproductive activities din ng men. No? I mean, reproductive activities. Ito, basically, it's a health supplement. But also, it helps with the, uh, with our reproductive activities or sexual activities. You know, sexual activity or reproductive activity, no, it requires two things for the men. The mental part and the physical or the mechanical part. So, ewan ko kung nangingiti yung iba dyan, no? Paano ko ba ito sasabihin sa Tagalog? Pero para mas, ano, no? English na lang. So, merong mental part and merong physical part, no? Or mechanical part. So, yung mental part, very important that the libido is intact. Meron tayong sexual drive. So, what lessens the sexual drive? Sometimes stress, anxiety, a lot of other factors. If you think of a lot of other things, sexual drive goes low, right? If you're too busy, too preoccupied to think of a lot of other things, sexual drive goes low. So even if you are capable physically, mechanically, but your sexual drive is low, wala rin. it's very hard to initiate. Diba? But even if your 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 mental part, your libido is really very good, you know, you you are sexually aroused, but the mechanical aspect isn't there, no? yung erection is there wala rin <laughs> kaya yun ang magkasama yung mental part and yung physical or mechanical part and this man that helps on both on both um factors no uh, these are the ingredients as you can see here spirulina it contains spirulina that is also um helpful for muscle strength and endurance which hindi lang naman ginagamit during sexual activity di ba Ginagamit din natin yan in our everyday life. Sometimes men who have a lot of work, a lot of things to do, sometimes yung endurance, low. So, ang bilis mapagod, di ba? Lantang gulay na kagad, hindi na mapakinabangan. So, with, with, with this product, no, it helps with your muscle strength, endurance, stamina, vitality. Kaya napakaganda nito. And also, katulad na sinasabi ko kanina sa testosterone, This manna contains tonkat ali extract with all, which also helps boost low testosterone levels. So yan ang ating enhanced manna. Uh, yan yung mga ingredients, yan yung mga functions niya, and uh, that is how important, that is the reason why everyone should, you know, have men's supplement, especially this enhanced manna. Okay. And also, we have weight management products, no? Weight management, uh, kung ang skin natin 
has this um, um, aesthetic, psychological, and uh, social function. Actually, yung weight din natin or yung pagkataba or pagkapayat natin, di ba may fact, may, may ano rin yan, affecting yan. Sometimes those people who, uh, who, ha, who are obese, really obese, really big people, no? Um, they get bullied. So that's, you know, social, ano, di ba? Yung social effect. Uh, sometimes people tend to look down on you, parang ansiba naman ito, ganyan. Di ba? So may mga ganong factors. That's why weight management, I, I, we put this into our personal care. Because uh, weight management not just um, affects your overall health. Hindi lang yung kalusugan. Pero yung social um, yung social life natin or social status natin, even our self-esteem, nababawasan. So with weight management, there are two factors that um, comes into play. The first one, again, is energy intake, kinakain mo. And number two, the energy expenditure, kung ilan dun sa kinakain mo ang ginagastos mo for your activity. The body at rest, we use energy. Kahit na tayo nakahiga, nagpapahinga, natutulog, we use energy. Why? Because a lot of our body organs are functioning even if we are asleep. Like the heart. The heart beats 60 to 100 times every minute. Uh, yes, every minute. Diba? So imagine your heart uh, with no energy to beat for 60 times or beat 60 times in a minute. Imagine, imagine what would happen to you. That's why even if you're asleep, the heart is pumping blood you know, 60 to 100 times per minute. So yung ating puso, gumagamit yan ng energy kahit tayo ito. That is why uh, for the whole day, we have um, calorie requirements, minimum caloric requirements para makapag-function tayo properly. Depending on our lifestyle, we have sedentary lifestyle, light, uh, light um, what do you call that? Light activities, moderate activities, or heavy activities, depende. Kaya nag iba yung caloric requirement ng bawat tao. Not just based on the height and the weight. No? Depende sa physical activity niya. But basically, energy intake is very important. Yung kinuko, kinakain natin para gamiting energy. And number two, energy expenditure, kung ano yung ginagastos o ginagamit natin. So, para mas maintindihan nyo po, for example, a person eating 2,000 calories in a day, no, 2,000 calories, and that person uses 2,000 calories to perform the body functions. No? So, ano mangyari? 2,000 ang kinain, 2,000 ang ginamit, so hindi ka tumaba, hindi ka pumayan. Okay? 2,000 ang kinain, ang ginamit, 1,800. So, merong surplus na? 200. So, saan mapupunta yung 200 na energy? Yung 200 na yon hindi yun itatapon ng katawan natin. I-store niya yun. As glycogen that is readily available, pagkakailanganin, or as adipose, taba. Okay? Day in, day out, may 200 kang um, oversupply ka nga, ng... Um, energy. So, every day 200 ng 200 calories yung ini-store, tinatabi, tinatago ng katawan natin for future use. So, tayo ngayon, we are gaining weight, we are getting fatter because that stored energy is converted into adipose na. Taba. Okay? So, what if naman a person takes 2,000 calories per day, pero ang energy expenditure niya is 2,500 calories a day? Pwede ba yun? Of course. 2,000 lang ang kinain, pero ang ginamit, 2,500. For example, nag-exercise. Or for example, naghabol ng, ano, ng, ng UV Express, di ba? So, dami ginamit na energy, o kaya nautusan na magmadali, ganyan, whatever. So, naging 2,500 ang ginamit, 2,000 lang ang kinain. So, saan kukuhain ngayon yung 500? Yung 500 na yung kukuhain naman sa energy stores. Okay? 
So pag everyday, ganun ang ganun, i-deplete niya ngayon, naubusin niya ngayon, yung adipose mo or yung energy stores mo, not just the adipose, of course. You also have muscle glycogen that is bet- that is being u- utilized. Initially, excess uh, energy intake would be um, put on the liver as liver glycogen. Diba? So, ganyan. So, doon nag, 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 nag-vary. For example naman, ang energy expenditure mo is pare-pares lang, 2,000 calories. Magvavary naman ngayon sa energy intake mo. Since ang ginagastos mo parati is 2,000, pero ikaw, ang kinakain mo naman is like 3,000. So, yung 1,000 na yun, store na naman sa iyong katawan. That is how uh, a person develops adipose or uses stored energy. Okay? Malinang, I hope. So, ano naman produkto natin para dyan? We have Embody Coffee Mix, which contains Garcinia Cambogia. Garcinia Cambogia helps with the appetite. It helps suppress the appetite para less yung energy intake. Less energy intake, uh, therefore, ang maaaring gawin ng katawan mo is the body would use up some of the energy required, um, use up, I mean, use up the stored energy so that it could supply the energy demand of your body. Tama? So, hindi naman ibig sabihin na pag nagtitake ka na ito, buong araw hindi ka nakakain, no? It's not even healthy. Um, I'm not sure if that's even possible, buong araw, no? Well, possible, pero I mean, only a few people could do that uh, voluntarily. <laughs> maybe, uh, ano, may, maybe occasional, pero yung voluntary, every, every other day nang kumakain, I don't, I don't know anyone. No? Pero ganun nga, that's the purpose of Gersinia, for the appetite. So basically, it, it affects the energy intake. Yerba mate naman, on the other hand, is uh, this one is the one that um, uh, or the one that's also present on man up, diba? For muscle strength and endurance. Yerba mate helps you to have better endurance, muscle strength, and for your metabolism. So, kung mas hindi ka pagod, so mas gusto mong may gawin, o mas may gagawin ka, so you'll be using more energy, thereby affecting the energy uh, utilization or uh, energy expenditure. Okay? So, itong kape, dun sa two factors, nakaka-affect na siya. So, you just take this 15 minutes before your breakfast or in the morning. On the other hand, in body green juice, this one is more of a nutritional support. It contains or the ingredients or the following, di ba? Wheatgrass, barley, chlorella, spirulina, and malunggal. Ito po, para tumasuplayan yung um nutrient requirement ng katawan. Uh, our coffee mix, um, di ba kanina sabi ko yung coffee mix para sa appetite, less yung nakakain mo, less yung cravings mo, less yung ano mo, yung pananabik mo sa mga pagkain. So if you are on a calorie deficit deficit diet no, or a energy restricted diet, so nangyayari ngayon, you don't get all the nutrients that you require or the body requires. No? Sometimes even if you are use, or you, you are um, eating the right uh, amount of energy, but you are using poor quality foods like, uh, you know, instants, instant food, yung mga fast food, diba? So sometimes or most of the time, you don't get all the nutrients. And this product supplies those nutrients. Kaya nga ito, maganda gamitin together with the coffee mix, no? But another thing that the green juice does is that it gives you a feeling of fullness. para ang bilis mong mabusog. Which also affects the energy intake. So since para ang bilis mong mabusog, guess yung nakakain mo ngayon. Okay? So that is the idea of these two products. This green juice, again, is a nutritional supplement, nutritional support, but also helps on your... Um, weight management uh, program. Yan yung ating and body green juice. Okay, so those are our weight management products. And, uh, you know, just uh, for us to understand better, weight management um, requires careful planning then. Hindi yun basta iinom ka tapos relax ka na, no? You have to plan if you want to 
if you want to have um, a good effect, if you have goals, no, you have to plan, not just uh, use the product. So that if you understand how these products work, you could plan your weight loss or weight gain regimen. Okay, so those are our products. And um, uh, when it comes to skin, we discuss natin personal care, no, yung oral care, yung ating men supplement, and then yung ating mga uh, weight management products. I hope you were able to learn something from today's orientation. And uh, if you have any questions later on, you can drop your question sa baba, sa comment section, so that, you know, uh, maybe the next um, orientation, pwede natin ma-discuss or pag-usapan. Common questions that could be encountered, um, especially on the weight management products, yun lang naman, you just take it before meals. Um, what else? What, basically, the products are, you know, you attend, especially for the skin products, no, you attend the the product orientation also on Saturday or demonstration. Every Saturday we have that. So it would really help you, not just knowing the product, but the application also is very important. Okay? So again, sana maraming kayo natutunan. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pa panonood or pakikinig and I hope to see you again meeting very soon on our upcoming or uh, uh, seminars or orientations. Next week, health para naman sa ating kalusugan which is also very, very important. Not also very important. It is the most important. Okay, thank you very much again. I'm Dr. Philip Guasa, your speaker for tonight. I'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you and God bless everyone. Bye.